The night has come, it's cold and losing my control This conversation We got no relation No good. No bueno. Brett says no bueno. Oh, guys, Brett's here. He's came all the way down to Ohio just to see me, or from Ohio to see me, and fix Andy's junk. Maybe some of my junk, but Andy's junk is looking rather hammered. Insert video here from him doing a rowdy burnout. But Brett's going through and assessing the damage right now. And we're, he's glad we, he brought a spare trans already because there's already things messed up that we didn't think would be messed up. So, was it the drum? Forward drum? Is that what uh, that is? Forward drum and. Forward drum, double spring, and the wrong snap rings. Perfect. Andy's not very good. Andy's, Andy's mid. Brett's gonna do the damn thing. Andy is doing head studs right now, so we'll film some of that. Alright guys, so Brett has his basically racetrack set up here. Yep. So this is this imitates what the guys use at the shop that you guys have probably seen in my videos on the on the benches. But he has it set up in his receiver hitch so we can do this on the go whenever we're not at the shop. So give us a run down here. What's what's going on? What are we doing? Well uh, we drove uh, 58 hours round trip to come out to Missouri for the boys. Uh, Mainly his train's a little hurt, so here we are. We got a couple broken parts that luckily I brought everything to fix it. And I brought a spare trans for some other spare parts and hopefully have them to slap back in tonight around 8 o'clock and uh, maybe test pull ups tomorrow. That would be very ideal. We got a, we got a billet output. Um, you know, we decided if he's launching, launching this thing, then he needs uh, he needs something different than, than what he's got. Uh, he drove a, broke a couple things. He broke it over a dry piston. It's not supposed to be windowed like that. And then overdrive piston support. He's got galled up from, I'm assuming too much end plate is smacking against. So I got a new OEM piston and a Sonics piston support. It's got the oiling hole in it. Everything else looks pretty solid. The pump looks good. Bands both look good. Um, we're gonna do a little bit different setup with his directs and with his overdrive, add an extra clutch in there so he has more holding power and Next thing you know, he's gonna be racing 770 at UCC. That is that is the goal, and what you guys see a lot, um, and what you'll see over the next few years, and in comparison with mine and Andy's truck, is uh, what I will get away with a lot more uh, stock items in my trans versus Andy's. Andy's got a little bit of weight on me, which we've been working on that. But at the time of this, uh, the truck was still 69 ish, hundred pounds probably. So heavy. Overdrive burnouts, rowdy things, and uh, so hopefully lightening that thing up a little bit is going to help the longevity of some of this. But there's been stuff found. It was more so hoping we found something because it was acting weird. Didn't really know what was going on, and there's definitely some obvious things going on. So they're going to rob some stuff out of this trans, get it together, and then next up we'll throw my trans on this and figure out what's going on with it and 
more more fun throughout the weekend. So it's probably gonna be a hot one today. So we got the canopy set up. So we've got my trans on the stand here and Brett went through everything, said it looks good. So if he's confident, I'm confident. Uh, at that point, then it's probably gonna be in the valve body. It probably needs cleaned. Um, yeah, I don't know what could be in there, but that's Dennis's realm. So Dennis will get to mess with that in the future. Um, I can still drive the truck fine. It's just, I would like, and when the six seven's in especially, I would like to be able to <clears throat> be able to tow if need be. and. Right now, that is not the case with the downshift scenario, so. Unless I manually do it. But, we're going to, or I should say Brett's gonna throw this back together and we'll get it off the stand and put it back in the truck. So, we've had a very lively day. Lots of things going on, so. Yeah, Andy would rather find a large bridge and jump off of it, but. It'd be really nice to take this thing. I just, unfortunately, it's not the smartest idea. I'll say Andy's won't be making it. So, but we've got, we've got work. I mean, we've got stuff to do. We've got, if I ever wanted content, I've got freaking plenty of it at this point. Unfortunately, everything we have to do will not accumulate to one truck going. So. Yeah, that's uh. The pooch is screwed. Yeah. So, we will be showing up to UCC to fully support Mr. Evan Ratcliffe and his racing endeavors, and obviously, Brett and the Mega, so we'll have stuff to, to do and people to support and things to see just like usual at UCC. If you guys have not been, you should definitely go. It's well worth it for any diesel enthusiast. But, fortunately, with part stuff, it's just not the smartest to take stuff and potentially oiling down a track for every, ruin everybody else's day for me to run slower than what they're going to run. So back together it goes and I don't know I'm sure I will video some putting it back in or something even though you guys have seen that plenty of times <laughs> <laughs> 